Green hydrogen is often called the fuel of the future, a molecule with the power to reshape global energy systems, decarbonize heavy industry, and drive the world closer to net zero. Yet one obstacle continues to slow that vision, cost. Producing hydrogen from renewable electricity remains expensive, typically between four and six dollars per kilogram, far higher than the one to three dollar range for hydrogen derived from natural gas. To compete, the world must find a way to produce clean hydrogen for around two dollars per kilogram, the tipping point that could make it a true economic alternative to fossil fuels. That $2 target represents more than just a price. It's the threshold for a new industrial era. At that cost, hydrogen can power steel mills, fertilize crops, run ships, and store renewable electricity, all while remaining competitive with oil, coal, and natural gas. Yet getting there has proven difficult because most of the cost of hydrogen comes from electricity. Even as solar and wind power become cheaper, Electrolysis, with the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, still requires enormous amounts of energy. About 70% of the total cost of green hydrogen is tied directly to electricity, and the world has struggled to reduce that burden without compromising efficiency or scale. Enter New Hydrogen Inc., a California-based company that believes it may have found a way to change the equation. Its new technology, called Thermo Loop to EQM, rethinks how hydrogen is produced by replacing much of the electrical energy needed for electrolysis with heat. That single innovation could alter not only the economics of hydrogen, but the entire logic of clean energy systems. In a traditional electrolyzer, water is split using electricity. Electrons flow through a membrane, breaking hydrogen and oxygen bonds and generating hydrogen gas on one side, oxygen on the other. The process is clean but energy-hungry, and every kilowatt-hour counts. Thermoloop adds a second form of energy into the mix, thermal energy. Instead of using electricity to do all the work, it harnesses heat to drive part of the reaction. In other words, it combines electrochemistry and thermochemistry in one continuous process. Inside the Thermoloop system, a specially engineered material, often a metal or metal oxide, reacts with water at high temperature, releasing hydrogen gas while becoming oxidized. Then, instead of discarding the oxidized material, the system uses heat to regenerate it, restoring it to its original state so the cycle can repeat. This continuous reaction is why it's called a loop. The materials are recycled, the chemistry repeats, and hydrogen is produced as long as heat and water are available. The result is a system that needs far less electricity to achieve the same hydrogen output. Historically, thermochemical hydrogen production has been explored for decades, but earlier versions required extreme temperatures, often above 1,000 degrees Celsius, which made them expensive and impractical. New Hydrogen's Thermo Loop Breakthrough lowers that requirement dramatically. The process can operate below 700 degrees Celsius, meaning it can run on widely available heat sources such as concentrated solar power, industrial waste heat, geothermal systems, or even advanced nuclear heat. By using moderate temperatures and simple durable materials, Thermoloop avoids the engineering challenges that have held back previous high temperature cycles. The potential savings are enormous. A standard electrolyzer consumes around 55 kilowatt hours of electricity to produce one kilogram of hydrogen. Thermoloop can cut that in half, reducing electrical demand to 25 or 30 kilowatt hours per kilogram. If renewable electricity costs $30 per megawatt hour, roughly three cents per kilowatt hour, the energy expense falls from $1.65 to less than 90 cents per kilogram. Combine that with the elimination of costly catalysts like platinum or iridium, and the total cost could land between two and two and a half dollars per kilogram, precisely where the world needs it to be. The elegance of Thermoloop lies in its hybrid nature. It doesn't attempt to replace existing electrolyzers, but rather complements them. It can be integrated into new projects or added to existing facilities as a heat augmentation module. Imagine a steel plant or cement factory that produces enormous quantities of waste heat. Today, most of that energy escapes into the atmosphere. With Thermoloop, that same heat could be recaptured and reused to make hydrogen on-site, reducing emissions and creating a new revenue stream. 
In sun-rich regions, concentrated solar towers could supply both the electricity and the heat needed to run thermo-loop reactors 24 hours a day. Industrial zones in the Middle East, India, or Australia could deploy hybrid systems that combine photovoltaic panels, solar thermal collectors, and thermo-loop modules, transforming the economics of hydrogen production and improving energy efficiency across the board. The environmental implications are profound. By relying on heat rather than electricity, thermo-loop significantly reduces grid load and carbon intensity. In regions where electricity still comes from fossil fuels, shifting part of the energy requirement to renewable or recovered heat can cut life cycle emissions by as much as 30%. Because the system uses abundant, non-toxic materials, it avoids the environmental impacts associated with mining and processing rare metals. It's a circular model in every sense, using what was once waste energy to produce clean fuel without introducing new environmental risks. The financial advantages go beyond simple energy savings. In any hydrogen project, reducing electricity demand doesn't just lower operational costs. It changes how the entire project is financed. Lower energy input means smaller power purchase agreements, smaller battery requirements, and less exposure to fluctuating energy prices. Using common materials reduces capital expenditure and longer equipment lifetimes mean lower replacement costs. Together, these factors improve internal rates of return, shorten payback periods, and make hydrogen projects more bankable. The key to unlocking large-scale investment. Thermoloop also offers a level of energy security that traditional electrolysis cannot. Hydrogen plants that draw heavily from the grid can strain local infrastructure, especially in renewable heavy areas where supply fluctuates. A system powered mainly by heat provides independence. It can operate in remote regions, off-grid, using whatever local heat sources are available. That means countries rich in geothermal energy or sunlight, Kenya, Chile, Morocco, Iceland, could produce green hydrogen without building massive new power lines. For the developing world, that's a potential leapfrog moment. The ability to move directly to hydrogen without waiting for full-scale electrification. The technology's potential contribution to the $2 hydrogen goal is clear. Analysts at Bloomberg Neff and the International Energy Agency have long said that reaching that benchmark requires three things. Lower electricity consumption, lower capital cost, and higher utilization. Thermo Loop addresses all three simultaneously. It halves electricity use, reduces capex through simpler design and cheaper materials, and runs more consistently thanks to heat storage, which allows operation even when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. It's a multi-dimensional solution to a multi-dimensional problem. The practical results are tangible. A 10 megawatt hydrogen facility near a refinery producing high temperature exhaust could integrate thermo loop modules and drop its hydrogen cost from around $3.80 per kilogram to roughly $2.20. In a solar thermal setup where both power and heat are nearly free, cost could fall even lower. The implications extend beyond individual plants. On a global scale, hybrid systems like Thermoloop could reduce renewable power demand for hydrogen by nearly 40%, freeing up electricity for other uses while accelerating the rollout of green fuel infrastructure. At h2hub at reneenergy.com, these are the types of scenarios developers can model and test in real time. The platform provides templates that let users adjust key variables, electricity price, heat fraction, capital cost, and utilization to see how each factor affects the levelized cost of hydrogen. Instead of vague optimism, professionals get data-driven insights. They can build feasibility studies, compare energy configurations, and see how innovations like Thermoloop change the financial outlook for their projects. For consultants, investors, and developers, it's a bridge between research and reality. Beyond the economics, Thermoloop embodies a larger shift in how we think about hydrogen. For decades, the industry assumed that electrolysis would always be a purely electrical process, powered by renewable electrons. Thermoloop challenges that assumption. It demonstrates that the future of hydrogen could be multi-input and multi-energy, a hybrid system where heat and electricity work together. That paradigm shift could define the next era of energy innovation. 
The company behind it, New Hydrogen, has already filed two patents covering the underlying chemistry and system design. The first patent established the core mechanism, while the second expands it to include alternative materials and configurations optimized for industrial scale. The next phase will involve pilot projects that validate performance, durability, and cost over thousands of operating hours. If successful, thermo-loop modules could be mass-produced and deployed alongside electrolyzers around the world. Because they are modular and adaptable, they could be added to existing facilities without overhauling the entire system. A crucial advantage for fast deployment. The comparison to the solar industry is apt. In the early 2000s, photovoltaics were expensive, inefficient, and niche. Incremental improvements, better coatings, thinner wafers, smarter inverters, eventually combined to cut costs by 90%. Hydrogen is now on a similar path. Innovations in membranes, catalysts, and hybrid systems like Thermoloop are compounding toward the same kind of cost revolution. If Thermoloop scales as projected, it could redefine how we view renewable integration altogether. Instead of separate sectors, solar, geothermal, hydrogen, future energy systems could merge them into one symbiotic network. Electricity powers some reactions, heat drives others, and hydrogen stores the energy that ties them all together. Thermoloop's hybrid design represents the first tangible step toward that holistic vision. The implications extend beyond technology. For policymakers, it provides a new lever for national hydrogen strategies. For financiers, it reduces risk by diversifying energy sources and improving project stability. For industrial players, it turns waste heat, long considered an inefficiency, into an asset. And for the global climate effort, it brings us closer to making truly green hydrogen both accessible and affordable. At h2hub.reneenergy.com, this intersection of technology, economics, and policy is exactly what we focus on. The platform equips professionals with tools to analyze innovations like Thermoloop in financial and operational terms. Users can quantify how reductions in electricity demand translate into cost savings, model scenarios for integrating thermal sources, and evaluate how those improvements influence overall project feasibility. It's a knowledge ecosystem designed to make the green hydrogen industry more intelligent, data-driven, and collaborative. Thermoloop represents the beginning of what can be called the hybrid hydrogen era, a time when multiple renewable energy streams converge to create a cleaner and more resilient energy economy. The idea that hydrogen must depend solely on electricity is becoming outdated. Instead, the future may lie in integrated systems that blend power, heat, and chemical innovation to reach unprecedented levels of efficiency. New Hydrogen's Thermoloop is more than just a technical milestone, it's a conceptual one. It shows that the path to affordable green hydrogen may not come from a single breakthrough, but from combining the best ideas across disciplines chemistry, engineering, materials science, and finance. By doing so, it embodies the collaborative spirit driving the clean energy transition forward. As the world races to meet the $2 per kilogram milestone, technologies like Thermoloop offer a glimpse of how we'll get there. Not through speculation, but through measurable, practical progress. Each incremental gain in efficiency, each new way of capturing and reusing energy brings hydrogen closer to becoming the universal clean fuel it was meant to be. In the end, Thermoloop could redefine green energy not because it breaks the laws of physics, but because it rebalances them. By merging heat and electricity, it turns two forms of energy into one powerful solution. It reduces cost, minimizes waste, and opens the door for new markets and new players in the hydrogen economy. It's a reminder that innovation isn't just about creating new energy, it's about using the energy we already have in smarter ways. For developers, investors, and engineers who want to understand how technologies like this will reshape the hydrogen landscape, visit h2hubreneenergy.com, the professional platform where innovation meets implementation and where the path to $2 hydrogen becomes clear through modeling, data, and strategy. The future of hydrogen isn't just powered by electrons. It's powered by imagination, by heat, and by human ingenuity and if new hydrogen's thermo loop lives up to its promise, it might just redefine green energy forever.